So I recently bought a lens, which is the lens that's on this camera right now, the 28 to 75 uh, Tamron, which I have been loving. Listen, I love this lens. It's one of the best lens I've ever used. The other day, I was out on a shoot with Jesse and he grabbed my camera to get like a shot or something like that because we had like the same exact setup. He pulled the zoom ring, he, he zoomed in and he was like, yo, why is your lens so loose, like the ring? And I was like, hmm. And I had noticed it was a little kind of, it was kind of loose, but I didn't think anything of it until I grabbed his, his lens. His had a lot more friction and was a lot tighter. This is getting kind of, getting kind of I don't know if this is a defect or what I'm not bashing Tamron or anything because honestly this is one of the best lens I've ever owned and I love it so versatile I literally use it for everything it has not come off my camera this whole time since I bought it about a month ago I was gonna do a review on it and then this happened so I think I'm gonna head over to Best Buy and see if I can get this bad boy replaced because I mean it doesn't bug me it makes it feel weird because it's kind of loose and it's something that I don't want to stick with because it can get worse in the future. And you know, when you pay a lot of money for gear and stuff, you want it to work properly at least for a month, you know what I mean? So I think this is a defective lens. It looks great, it works perfect, and the ring still works, but it's just a little loose. And I want to get it switched out before it gets worse or anything, so. Oh yeah, boy. Y'all already know what's going on right here. Got that package, y'all here. There it is. Yes, sir. All right, so we got a box here with the lens in it. Let's open it. And here it is. Oh, dude, you guys, it's hot outside. It's like 100, and, it's like 100 degrees outside, so this thing's kind of warm. I love this lens. I know it's gonna be great, just like the, one, the first one I had. I'm back on my 16 millimeter, by the way. It's a great lens. I've been shooting with it all day, and I forgot how much I love this, how much I love that lens. Oh my God, you guys, this, Freaking lens is hot. It's not good. That's not good to be having glass and heat like that. Woo! It's always, it's always awesome to unbox new stuff. Even if you already had it and you just got a new one, like it's great. Oh my gosh, I missed this lens. I didn't have it for two days and I missed it so much. Oh yeah, definitely the ring was loose on mine. Sniff test. You guys, look at this glass. Holy crap, man. This is, I'm telling you guys, if you guys don't have this lens, if you shoot Sony and you shoot a variety of content, if you don't have this lens, I don't know what to tell you. This is a great lens. It's amazing. The problem was even with, with the old lens, when I had it, if I even put it like this, it would not hold its weight at 75 millimeters. It would just fall, meaning the barrel was loose. This one, literally, I could just hold it like this and it's fine, so. And now I got insurance on it. You guys, get insurance on your lens. Higher chances of your lens getting damaged rather than the body. So get insurance on your lens just because, you know, it's, wow, you guys, it feels so nice. I could just do this all day ASMR. And I now feel weird because I feel like this one's gonna get loose too. Like, I don't know, like, I use the hell out of my gear, you guys. Like, I really do. Oh, I already got freaking finger grease stains on it. Brand new, and I already got Tamron F2.8. Awesome lens. For the price, it is amazing. You're gonna love it. If you do video and photo, this lens will kill it on both ends. Even in low light at f2.8, when you're shooting with the Sony a7 III, a7, you know, R3 or whatever, a7 IV if you have one of those, or a9, just in general from portrait to wide, seven, at 75 it looks amazing at 50, like just for portrait shots. Camera on, you guys are coming up for the price, half the price of a uh, Sony G Master. It's amazing. I'm gonna use this bad boy tomorrow. What the heck? Da -da -da. Hey, that's so dumb I have to like do that you guys sometimes when you're vlogging you do stupid shit like that <laughs> Today is my niece's first birthday, so we're gonna go buy some stuff for her at none other than Target You ready for your cake session amorous? Yeah. So we're gonna do a little quick photo shoot with Amaris for a birthday cake smashing session. I don't know, but it should be cool. <laughs> I think she's 
tapping out for this part of the session, photo session. <laughs> so we got a little setup. This is basically in the living room. Um, we're just getting, got one light right here, a cheap Amazon light, and a couple of balloons, and a baby, a birthday baby. Yeah, we're gonna scoot in more, more down this way. I got assistance today. Look at my assistant, wow. So we're gonna shoot the actual cake demolishing part yeah, for a photo I shoot out here. Mesa, no? um, this is kind of gonna be the setup, background, and uh, yeah, it's gonna look, gonna look pretty cool. <laughs> since we're getting really harsh lighting we were getting really harsh lighting and shadows here I had my assistant Erica since the sun's coming in from that side it was coming in through the gate with all those lines showing up here and it's gonna look ugly so we're covering the Sun getting that nice even diffuse shadow and it will look a lot better oh my god look at this you guys <laughs> Wow I think that was a pretty good success. She messed this thing up. Look at her foot. Oh my god. Did you have fun? Did you have fun? Thanks to my sister Erica for being uh, the diffuser today. There's the aftermath. That was a fun shoot. Never done a cake, what is it called? A cake smashing session? Yeah. Never done like a cake smashing session. So, hey, if your kid wants a cake smashing session and you live in the area, what's well, Gucci, let's do it. All right, so we shot those photos of Amaris. Can you hand me the book? My sister wanted to print some out, so I was like, you know what, I got an idea. So there's this company called Chatbooks, and uh, I, it's an app, literally you download the app, it's really cool, you download the app, select the photos from your phone, you put them into the app, and you can make a book, you can print a, you can print just like a single photo, you can print like smaller books, and this is what we printed for my sister. This right here is about 38 pages, about $24 plus shipping. And this thing came out pretty cool. For the price, it is not bad. And it's just, it's really cool to see your photos and your work printed in a book. Like, let alone, just print it alone, like let alone a book. Like, look at this, full pages, man. That is awesome. It's a cool thing to do. It's a little gift surprise that I got for my sister and for my niece. Something she can have forever and when she grows up she can look at these photos and be like, what the hell? Mom, what, why, why am I doing this? Why did you let me act a fool with all this cake? Then Chatbooks actually reached out to me and gave me a code for you guys. Um, it's a personal code, Alex Ochoa CPC, it'll be down here. And you guys can use this to get your first chat book free up to ten dollars which is pretty cool because it's like a, a ten dollars covers a smaller version of this i think this is an eight by eight ten dollar recover uh six by six use that code get up to ten dollars credit for your first chat book and you can get a bigger one obviously the ten dollars is going to go towards that yeah thank you to chat books for reaching out and giving me a code for you guys to use that's pretty cool so um yeah use that code and get your free chat book the photo shoot went well I think I did a pretty good job. Other photographers might be like, Eh, no, the colors and this and that and blah, blah, blah. It doesn't matter. If it looks good, it looks good. If you like it, if the person receiving the pictures likes it, that's all that matters. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. Hope you guys like this. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe and do whatever the hell you want and just eat popcorn and print pictures and take pictures and take video and have fun. See ya. Bye.